Hello there, welcome to this YouTube video. I am Echo Scratch Tutorials, and today we're going to be talking about Scratch Lab, which is a new project that the Scratch team recently released. Basically, it allows you to test out new blocks that the Scratch team is experimenting with. So these might be added to Scratch at some point. So the one that I'm going to be talking about today is the animated text extension. You can see this is very recent, February 2nd. Today's February 4th. Um, so we'll just try it out. So you can see that we go into a new Scratch project. This is not in the actual Scratch website yet. It's an official thing that the Scratch team made, but you'll need to go to a separate website to access it. There will be a link in the description. So you can see that it's a normal Scratch. We have all the right blocks. It's the most recent version, but we have this animated text extension. Now, when this will is added to Scratch, which it probably will be at some point, when you go into the extension menu, this is what it would look like. So it would be an extension. So we'll take a look at each of the blocks. The first one is the show text block, which allows you to show the text on the screen. This is the most basic one, most basic way. But when we use it, it can write any text. So the next one is this one, where, which is the same, but there's this drop down menu. So you can select type, which types it out, rainbow, which will make it rainbow colored for a few seconds, or zoom, which will make it zoom in from the center or from wherever the sprite is located. The next block is the show sprite block, which will show the sprite. How this text works is that it makes, instead of creating a new thing like the pen, it just makes the sprite look like the text. So the next block is pretty self-explanatory. Set the font. So if it's all the fonts that are in the sprite editor, which are sans serif, serif, handwriting, marker, curly, and pixel. There's also a random font option, which selects a random font as you would expect. The next one is the set text color to block, which is again very self explanatory. You can choose any color you like and it will write in that color. The final block is set the width to and uh, aligning. So this, you can set the width of the box that the text is in. It's an invisible box that the text is in. So if we make this number smaller, it will automatically wrap to fit in the box. And then from this drop down menu, we can select align to left, align center, or align right, which would work as you'd expect. And yeah, that's about it. So I hope you learned something from this. You can experiment with it. Again, there will be a link in the description. And I'll see you in the next video.